Hey guys, going on Megan here. So check out this guy. I can't stop laughing each time I look at it, but this is the kid from the Monday's video, My Satin. Check out how Jack is. Keep in mind he's only 10 years old. 10 year old kid from Vietnam with a myostatin deficiency, right? AKA the Hercules gene. Look at his neck. <laughs> look <laughs> look at his calves. Like this kid is so jacked at only 10 years of age. And now you see why I'm obsessed with myostatin and why I love studying the molecule. It just does the most ridiculous things. Keep in mind, this kid hasn't gone through puberty yet. Normal testosterone levels, normal daily activities. The only difference is he's lacking the myostatin gene. Anyway, this is another episode of What the Fuck Wednesday, where we just talk about various genetic freaks. Whether they're on Roy's or Natty, doesn't matter, right? People that just have uh, outside-of-the-norm physiques. Now, more info on this kid. So, he's from Vietnam, 10 years of age, and obviously, again, he has a myostatin deficiency. His parents found that out when he was about 6 years old. Even when he was born, the doctor noticed there was something unusual. Usually, when you're born with a myostatin deficiency, doctors pick it up at birth, right? They notice that the kid has an unusual size in his biceps, calves, things like that. So, he's not the first case at all. And I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain it again, but there's always someone in the comment section saying, what is myostatin? Long story short, I've made a bunch of videos about it going back. Uh, the last 10 years to so check them out but long story short it's a gene that inhibits muscle growth and that's the body's way of stopping us from just growing forever because obviously from an evolutionary perspective uh muscle growth is expensive i say that over and over again that's why you got to eat so much food to maintain a, a brolic physique you know having too much muscle on you is too expensive your heart has to work harder and it's obviously not ideal from an endurance standpoint in humans we actually evolved as as an endurance based species primarily so myostatin pretty much does the opposite of what we all want so it increases body fat increases insulin resistance and it obviously stops muscle growth so when you're lacking myostatin uh, you have the reverse, right? You have very, very low body fat, extreme muscle mass, and obviously better insulin sensitivity. And here goes some more pictures. Look at his calves. <laughs> Look at his calves compared to the other kid in the back. And again, remember, these guys are about the same age. And the kid doesn't even train. He tried to train with a bodybuilder for about three months and went right back home because he was homesick. So this is all genetics. Look at his traps back here. Unreal. Unfucking real He has bigger traps than 99% of us who are doing shrugs and deadlifts and everything under the sun. You have another picture here. Look at his biceps. The only issue that he's very, very stiff. Very, very stiff. Um, so his parents have him do a lot of stretching and stuff like that. Another one here. Look at his delts. Oh, my God. With the fucking lighting from the gods. Look at his delts, guys. Fucking popping out. Side laterals, not even once. Another picture here. Shoulders, biceps, back double by. Baby Dorian Yates in the house. This one here. Again, he wants to be a bodybuilder. Another one here where he's flexing his traps and his neck. His neck drives me insane. He's, he looks like fucking Baki the Grappler, guys. He has that football neck. More rhomboid, made trapezius action. But anyway, here's the interesting guy. So this kid wants to be a bodybuilder, right? So imagine he decides to become an RBB pro, right? Again, obviously, you guys know I always recommend a natural route. But again, let's say he decides to go the enhanced route. He wants to be an RBB pro. So this is how he looks now, before puberty, right? So now imagine what he would look like if he actually took the usual, you know, bodybuilder cycle. So take that physique, add some test, add some D-ball, add some 19 no, so nandrolone or tran, whatever, add a DHC derivative, so primo, maceron, whatever, and just for the fuck of it, some IJ4 and some growth hormones. So right, look how he looks now. Now imagine how this kid would look if he had all of these fucking anabolic compounds into his body after puberty, and let's say 18, 19, 20 years old. He will be bigger than Ronnie, bigger than Big Rami, bigger than Dorian, bigger than uh, every mass monster that ever walked. Is that insane, guys? The fact that he looks like this without any of these compounds blows my fucking mind. And as I explained in a previous video, the myostatin pathway is far more anabolic than any other uh, pathway in the human body. That includes testosterone, that includes uh, estrogen, that includes every single IGF-1, you name it. The myostatin pathway alone is more anabolic than all of these other pathways combined. Because again, keep in mind, this kid has normal levels of testosterone. He's not even gone through puberty yet. And yeah, he looks like this. All right, that just goes to show that myostatin is the future of bodybuilding. You know, it's been almost over two decades now. And scientists are still trying to find a way to uh, to find the most powerful uh, myostatin inhibitors. So long story short, this kid has the true Hercules gene. A lot of people confuse that with what uh, Eddie Hall has. So what Eddie Hall has, guys, you understand. So you have two copies of his gene. 
You get one from your mom, one from your dad. So what this kid has is a deficiency, meaning his body doesn't produce mastan at all. It's a very, very, very rare mutation because in order for you to be deficient in it, your mom has to lack um, a proper version of the mastan gene in half of her genes, and your dad also has to have the lacking version in the other half. And obviously, when they come together, he claps the cheeks. You got to inherit the mutated version of the gene from both parents. That's why it's so rare. I mean, it's it's extremely rare to end up with that. What Addy Hall has, his body still produces my statin. It's just he has a mutation where it doesn't produce as much as the average person. There are many, many kinds of my statin mutations. So there's a big difference between lacking the my statin gene altogether, which is what this kid has, and um, only producing small amounts or a less effective version of the gene. So to be specific, Addy Hall actually has half of the mutation in layman terms. That's why he didn't look like that as a kid. The best thing we could do as Natty is, is again, watch my last video, is to train, right? Resistance training is the number one most effective way to lower my statin. So that's the best thing that we can do as normal uh, non-X-Men, non-mutants, is just lift weights, right? Average reduction in my statin is about 40% from uh, weightlifting. It goes as high as 70, 80%, depending on how trained you are. The only drawback is the reduction we get in my statin after training peaks at about eight hours and then goes back to baseline around the 24 hour mark, which is why, again, protein synthesis peaks at about 24 hours if you're natty, right? Because you get this huge drop in my statin, which allows your body to grow. And again, it peaks around the eight hour mark and then goes right back towards baseline to start fucking your shit up again. So as a natty, best thing we could do is just train frequently as long as we manage recovery of course meanwhile this kid can just exist <laughs> and constantly have uh you know zero my stand but anyway guys that's it this was another episode of what the fuck wednesday big shout out to this kid and i really hope uh he becomes something great he has no health issues so far apart from the usual uh, stiffness um but hopefully his health doesn't get worse because in animals they tend to have some issues as they get older anyway see you guys in the comments Alright guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nicholas of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. All right, guys, I'm out of here.